Hi everybody, this is Sherry and this is my next design team project for my besties. I believe this would be design team project 32 but I am scheduling some out um, so I'm not sure exactly when this one if there will be other ones before this because I want to be ready and be prepared and have my um, commitment taken care of before my grandbaby gets here. So if I don't get any more bestie cards made before then, this will be Design Team Project 32, but it's, eh, it's up in the air. <laughs> I hope you guys like this card. I fell in love with this image when I saw it. I have a very beautiful niece with a very beautiful daughter who is my great niece and I just to me you know she always puts little flowers in her daughter's hair little bows and you know I they always go and they get dressed up and they go get their Christmas pictures taken and and so this reminded me of them so I went ahead and what I did was I made a five and a half by five and a half uh, recollections 110 pound uh, card base out of white and then I picked my image which was my bestie image I um, I used recollections red and green right here the red and green card stock um, it's a 12 by 12 pack I colored the image up with my Copics I found these rhinestones in my stash and they had been gifted to me but I thought they were so pretty and elegant and they were that E sorry wrong place E designer rhinestones is what it says I've never heard of the brand but there was two in the pack they look like that and I put those on the corner because I just thought they were really elegant looking um, I used Studio 18 Bling for the earrings. Then I used um, Wink of Stella on the little girl's dress and the flowers and the leaves in her hair. And then I did light strokes of the Wink of Stella through the mother's hair. And uh, I'll bring this up so you can maybe catch a glimpse of the, the shimmer. I just did real light strokes. I wanted it to look like, now so you can see on the flower and the leaves, it's real sparkly there. But I just wanted it to look like the sun was, you know, glistening off of her hair. So I thought that was pretty. Then I used glossy accents on her eyes, or on both of their eyes. And then I used my stickles for the necklace. And I will uh, zoom in so you can get a better look. At my image and I had actually put um, pearls around there but because the the size difference in the back I just couldn't make it look the way I thought was right so the stickles worked out really good for me and uh, I had so much fun coloring this and you know if you were to see my niece and uh, great niece you would know that this really does look like them when they get dressed up for their Christmas pictures they're both absolutely beautiful and uh, so I just when I saw this I knew I had to call her this is their Christmas card so this is their Christmas card and then let me zoom you back out here I forgot to show the inside of my card now I put a piece of paper there right now because I stamped with the stamp that Becky gave me, who is Aunt Beck's creation, with real red uh, Stampin' Up! ink. And with that new ink, if you don't let it dry or keep something between and put, if something with any weight hits the top of it, it will smear. So I just laid that in there to keep that. Um, I, you know, I left it for quite a while, but I just wanted to be double sure that it didn't smear. And I'll zoom you back down in there so that you can get a look at the image that Sherry um, drew for us to call her. And I just think it's beautiful. I hope you guys like this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, I got ink on my hands where I was inking. 
uh, stuff earlier. Sorry about that. They looked horrible. But if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you think. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.